what's up guys how you doing so um i went and had my dav appointment today um at the dav appointment um what my rep explained was that uh, well i explained my situation saying that i'm 100 percent um and how come i'm just a schedule rating um now what schedule rating means is that i would have another cmp exam on my fifth year from the date that I hit 100% and then um, after that we'll have another one five years later would be the 10th year and uh, 20 year, uh, well 10 years later which would be the 20th year um, so uh, with that being said my next compensation and pension exam would be um, in 2021 but what I wanted to know was based on my situation is what it is that I need to do um, in regards to requesting total and permanent. He said, I can wait to the compensation and pension exam in 2021 and state my situation then and there, um, get an EDBQ and have it done then and there. Um, or if I don't wanna wait till then, I can have my provider um, that is willing to write a letter um, stating that my illness is chronic um, and uh, have that submitted to, well, he said, have it submitted to, to the regional office for DAV, Disabled American Veterans, and then um, they will give it to the VA regional office. So like that, if the VA regional office down the road says, oh, I never, you know, we never uh, got the letter, DAV would tell them, no, we have a copy of when you received it. Um, and they would be able to uh, rectify that for me. Um, having DV as an organization, as my representatives, um, is definitely a perk. Um, it is the reason why I am 100%, you know, um, based on the advice that they have given me and they haven't steered me wrong. So based on this information that was given to me today, um, again, my situation is completely different from um, from other veterans um, but in generalization yes um, you can have a provider state that your illness is chronic and it won't ever get better so once they state that then um, you know you can submit that letter to the regional office and uh, you know that's for the 100 percent the ones that are not uh, total and permanent all right um, now with that being said, I did receive a bump scoop as well. Um, there was one guy who was stating that, oh, the reason why I'm not total and permanent is because I'm still working. Bullshit. You can continue working as and still be total and permanent. Um, so that's bullshit. It's uh, individual employability is that you can't work um, and be IU at the same time um, or TDIU. I mean, you could work odds and end jobs, but not too many. Um, and, all div and it varies. Now, the other one is, um, uh, what is what, what's the other bump scoop that he stated? Um, oh, that being my rating of 100% was for one of my uh, service connections is not, um, is not, it was an addition. He, he, the math, uh, the calculation in regards to the compensation rating was just not adding up of what he was explaining. But why didn't I argue that out? It's because at the end of the day, that man has been doing it for quite a long time. You know, and it, maybe it's gotten to them. Maybe, you know, the system changes, you know, a lot, you know. Um, so he's not updated. But at the same time, I don't want to burn my bridge. You know, I don't want to burn a bridge. So I just sit in and, and listen. But what I take out of it is what is valuable to me. And what was valued to be valuable to me was, um, again, I went in to this appointment to uh, verify that all I needed to do was write a letter stating that my, my illness is chronic, that it won't ever get better. And my provider can write that letter. And then once I could submit that, I can submit it to DAV and DAV was given to the regional office. That's all. Um, or it's up to you. You know, you can go in, have that letter sent in as certified. It's up to you how you want to play that card. Um, but yes, so this is the information that I received today. Um, 
if you guys have experienced this um, and, uh, um, you know, wish to share, please do comment on the sections. Um, I know uh, that a lot of guys, like the guy today, um, said you're going to rock the boat and you're going to, you know, you're going to get one, your 100% taken away from you. I'm not. Because the DV rep as well, the other the rep said as well, that's been doing it for quite a long time. And the one that has been steered me wrong said that you're not rocking any boat. You're not even going to get another CMP exam. Um, you're not going to get it pushed up from October 2021 till now. You know, you're, all you're going to do is just state what, you know, the provider is going to state that they made a mistake mistake on the, when they were filling out the DBQ that they forgot to check off a box. Um, and basically, if if they were to grant me the total and permanent, they would do it then and there. If it doesn't get done now through the letter, then all I got to do is just wait till 2021. Um, so, you know, uh, little to two years left, um, which is not a problem. You know, I could wait till 2021. But let's see what happens with this letter. Um, so, again, you know, it's there's no rocking of the boat in regards to the letter. Um, so, you know, go right ahead if you feel like you you deserve turn, um, total and permanent or permanent total. Um, by all means, write your letter. Um, but at the same time, don't be scared um, in regards to what a lot of people are stating, you know. Um, again, at the end of the day, all of this is uh, changing rapidly, you know, and it's adjusting to the veterans that are becoming uh, service connected. So, you know, we have to stay on top of uh, each other and uh, in sharing information. And uh, what could have been right uh, for that guy that was giving me information, the bump scoop, could have been right a long time ago. Now it's different. You know, people see this as a taboo and it's not a taboo at all. And this is a uh, um, benefits that's awarded to us and, uh, you know, take advantage of it, you know, it's no way, no how a table, you know, um, so don't be scared to say, share any inf information, um, as well as don't be scared to subscribe, a lot of you guys are watching the channel and not subscribing, um, you know, you subscribe, you comment, don't be scared to comment, um, share your experiences with your VA experiences, because at the end of the day, you might be helping out another veteran, you know, um, and that's what we're here for. Let's help each other out. Let's not give our money away to lawyers or anything like that. Um, so do me a favor, stay tuned, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.